Hi guys, back in the hobby room, really excited about this build, uh, the Superbird, and so I was starting to cut the doors out, and I wanted to do a little tutorial on how I cut these doors out. I wanted to show you exactly um, what I do. I've got a new way to do it. Uh, it's, it's, for me, more accurate, easier uh, to handle, and so I'll spin the camera around and we will get to showing you that. All right, as you can see, I've already cut out uh, the passenger side door, so I thought I'd do a little um, demonstration tutorial of how I cut these doors out. Now, uh, when I first started doing this, the method of choice was to use the back side of a uh, number 11 blade and, and I did that for a long time just dragging, dragging, dragging. Uh, that seemed to be kind of a uh, okay way, it was kind of a pain. Sometimes you'd slip, scar the body, whatnot, or you'd bust these because it's just, it's just too thin and it took forever um, trying to do that. So I saw a video several years ago about using uh, thread and making these cuts but you had to tape the body to your bench and uh, move it and it just I tried it once and it, it was kind of difficult and and so I got to thinking why not make a tool that would hold the thread so you could hold the body and the thread at the same time so I came up with this idea of a paint bucket bale put some styrene tube over it I, I don't know if you can see this very well but I just cut grooves in the top so the thread will fit right in there and you can wrap it around tighten it up and then you've got kind of a little saw. So, show you how this works really quick. Is I just run it through the window there, tighten it up, and put this in here. Kind of wind it around so it stays tight. And I put a lot of different uh, grooves in there so you could wind it in different directions so the thread would stay tight. Now I don't use just any thread because I started using just regular black thread and, and it'll bust if you go too hard. So I went to um, fabric store and this is all-purpose dual duty and this seems to last a little longer in fact I cut this passenger side door with just uh, one uh, it breaking one time so I'm gonna see if I can get this in frame here kinda show you how this is done and it takes a little bit of time you have to be patient but boy do you get a nice cut and so I'm just I'm able to hold it I'm able to uh, move it around cut small areas um, and as long as you don't press too hard um, things Seem to work out okay. And you just take your time and run the thread on the uh, right there on the end of the door, right there on the seam, and you'll notice it'll start to get hot and it'll start to cut. And it's a little more accurate 
because I can move it out of there, right? And I can go up into here. Sometimes I like to make a little starter cut of just a little straight starter cut here. So I'll just get it going there. And now I can cut this wing window pretty quickly here. you'll notice you've got to get it heated up and not too much pressure and again this is I think a little more um, accurate once it really starts cutting um, it goes pretty quickly like I said I just cut that door out I don't know probably took me 20 minutes and the seam is a lot smaller And you can start to feel it as you go, and it'll just glide right on down that seam there. And it works pretty well, especially for tight areas uh, like this area here where we get into that curved part but you can see how I've already gone down the wing window there and now I'll just follow that uh, around the door jam here and it just for me just being able to move it around and make these accurate cuts uh, this is how I did the uh, doors and the trunk on the, the 70 CUDA and I think I got a better fit um, on that particular build but yeah you can just go into the corner there and then we can just change direction and now head down the door jam there and and you don't have any of that scarring when you slip with the knife or you don't have any that you know safety issue of cutting yourself with the blade and if the thread breaks you just replace it and do it again but hopefully you can see how quickly uh, this is working for me and I've already cut uh, you can hopefully get this in frame I've already cut that just very quickly and neatly and it's a nice tight uh, nice tight seam there so you can do a little sanding and, and neaten it up a lot quicker so that's kind of the tutorial how to of how I cut out my doors now so we will uh, I'll finish this up and I'll cut the trunk and uh, that's the how to for that Well, there it is, guys. The new tool for cutting out doors. You can see I got the passenger and the driver's side. Uh, next, I'll jump onto the trunk. It took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes to cut out a door. I uh, hope the video was helpful. Um, hope you guys will 
be inspired to cut some doors and trunks and get those things going. So thanks for watching. Uh, have a great rest of your weekend.